Hi everyone, it's Dr. Christine Lee, procrastination coach, here for my Tuesday at 10 live talk on my Facebook page, Procrastination Coach. Today I just wanted to share with you what I learned about a week ago from a panel on the pursuit of happiness. One person on the panel was Dr. Martin Seligman. He is one of the founders of the positive psychology field and movement. And I just thought his words were worth sharing and his model was worth sharing as well. The model he put forth for the pursuit of happiness and well-being is called the PERMA model, P-E-R-M-A. P stands for positive emotion. And if you've been following me for half a second, you know that I emphasize the importance of keeping your mood elevated, keeping optimistic, keeping hopeful, keeping yourself happy. So it might seem obvious, well, in order to be happy, you have to feel happy, but let's do that. Let's encourage that feeling of wellness from within, and then we get good things coming to us. I think it helps to start out on a good note instead of feeling like we're worthless or helpless or powerless. It's a lot harder to get what we want and to do the things that we want when we're feeling like our mood is floor level, ground level. We should just try to be optimistic as much as we can. E in the model stands for engagement. And engagement is just kind of how involved we are with our work, finding work that lights us up, getting um, getting active, being um, involved in a way that is in alignment with what makes us feel good and well. So engagement is the second element. R stands for relationships. Relationships should be obvious. It's finding love, finding intimacy, finding connection, um, being connected and working to strengthen those connections. That can also be a great pathway towards long-standing happiness. And I think procrastinators in particular can um, forget about the importance of relationships, perhaps not on purpose, but because of the shame and the guilt and the embarrassment that comes with procrastination uh, that forces us into more of an isolated state. So let's get back into our relationships. Let's prioritize our relationships for our long-standing happiness. M stands for meaning. And in preparing for this little live here, I just did some reading and by meaning he means um, when it, when you feel like your time is just is just flying by because you're having such a good time that there is something rich about the work that you're doing that um, you feel like you're contributing that um, you're adding to community you're adding to your own well-being finding meaning in your work um, finding that work that means something to you um, a stands for accomplishments and I think all of us that's obvious I think that um, we are oftentimes trained from a very young age to go towards accomplishments achievements awards um, things that other people appreciate but what I found interesting on the panel and the, the element that I wanted to share with you here today is that uh, the people on the panel de-emphasized the letter A. They were all saying that accomplishments are actually perhaps maybe should be kind of on the back page and the other letters, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, and meanings and meaning in your work and life should be elevated to a higher level because accomplishments are um, perhaps fleeting and um, perhaps if you're going to get your happiness from those accomplishments, you're always going to be chasing something outside of yourself. So let's be careful uh, to try not to overfocus on our achievements and perhaps to try to emphasize some of the core ways of developing happiness within ourselves, which is finding meaning in our work, contributing to society, enjoying what we do, connecting with people, um, without needing a return, with doing things because we feel like giving, because we feel generous, because we feel able, and because we feel abundant. So I hope that made sense. Again, it's the PERMA model of Dr. Martin Seligman, S-E-L-I-G-M-A-N. 
Perma is positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishments. I hope that helps you today. If you feel like this was helpful to you, please feel free to share this with your family and friends. And I look forward to seeing you again next week, Tuesday at 10, live on my Facebook page, Procrastination Coach. All right, take care. Be well. Leave some comments if you have any reflections or suggestions about the PERMA model. Okay, bye.